Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, fourth video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. For today's fourth video, day 10, is going to take us to the 14th of December. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the GFS and ECM ensembles over a couple of weeks. So I've got CFSV2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That's going to take us pretty much to the new year. So I shall get on with that for you in a second. Just to say that it's been a really busy day at Gals Weathers well, today. We had a day off yesterday, but we weren't really back in business today. So uh, the first video release was a 7 a.m. upload. We've also released the um, ECMWF 42 day slash six weeks. Look ahead. We've released a weekend forecast. We've got a 14th Christmas update. The 14th Christmas update coming up for you uh, tonight. So yeah, busy old day. Please like, share, subscribe on all our videos. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. And if you're a channel member, then uh, make sure you're around the channel at 5 p.m. There's going to be a channel member live stream um so we'll have a little bit of a chat and uh, hang out for an hour or so for uh this month's channel member live stream that'll be coming up around five for channel members uh right okay let's crack on then with the uh 10 to 14 day so i'll tell the webcam and how look central and temperature shall we do that uh let's do that so uh the city is currently standing at uh, 5.1. That is about average, actually. Uh, just 0.1 of a degree above that. So that's about bang on average, provisional up to uh, yesterday to the 3rd of December. That's 6.1990, but if you take a more modern average, 8.1010 or uh, 9.22.20, uh, you will probably find that's a little bit below average for, the, uh, for those uh, more recent averages. Um, but anyway, it's certainly uh, not been a particularly warm start to uh, December, a rather cooler start to month. That's a little bit different compared to what we've had perhaps over recent years. Might be an indication this could be a slightly colder winter, but of course we're only, uh, we're only like four days into uh, mid Georgia winter, so I'll have to see about that. Uh, these are GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles uh, for the next couple of weeks. So red line is the 30-year upper air temperature average of London today. And we're below average uh, in London. We're only going to say below average generally for the next week, actually. So uh, pretty cool uh, temperatures coming up. And sometimes even uh, perhaps quite cold uh, for the next week. Around the middle of December onwards, we have got a warming trend. We talked about this when we did the last 10 to 14 day, which I feel was on Thursday. Um, so we have got a warming trend that's appearing there through the middle part of the December. So it looks like uh, basically like week one is quite cold. Week two is milder. Might not be quite as straightforward about as that, though. More about that in a moment. Precipitation-wise, there's going to be lots of uh, precipitation coming up over the next week or so as well. And, of course, as it's cold, some of that will be a little bit wintry, particularly over high ground. But down in London, most of that, of course, is going to be rain. And then maybe a little bit of a drying trend as we move into the middle and second half of December. So as these temperatures are uh, lifting up, the upper temperatures lifting up, we may also be seeing a drying trend. We're also seeing a trend towards higher pressure. This is how the mean sea level pressure uh, ensembles are looking for London. So at the moment, we're starting off with relatively low pressure, somewhere between uh, somewhere between like 1,010 and 990 millibars, you know, averaging out, I suppose, around 1,000 millibars. So relatively low pressure. Uh, at the moment, um, but as we go into like the second half of the month, into the second half of December, we do see uh, a trend towards uh, towards higher pressure, the pressure to rise there as we go into the second half of the December. That's the temperature is lifting up, but of course if it's associated with rising pressure, if it's associated with higher pressure, then it will depend on where the high pressure sits in terms of whether it does get actually milder on the surface. It might be cold under the high pressure even when mild upper air temperatures uh, a lot, but it just depends exactly where that high pressure is uh, sitting. So for the next week, it's going to be quite cold though, so temperature anomalies from the 4th to 12th of December, they're coming out below average, not just the UK, but through many parts of Europe, and especially focus again on Scandinavia and Northern Europe, where it really is very cold, temperature anomalies around 10 degrees or more below average. Precipitation anomalies from the 4th to the 12th of December, they're coming out average or wetter than average so it looks like quite a cold and unsettled um sort of week ahead latest wind from that from earth north school dot net shows that we're pulling in a pretty cold north northwesterly wind and it comes with uh, low pressure off norway and also in uh, the uh, middle of the north sea as well 
This is our latest uh, UK Met uh, Euro run. It's looking for midnight on Tuesday. Unsettled and quite cool. Uh, winds in from the west northwest direction. Quite a cold wind, though, with deepening areas of road pressure out to west. That becomes a major dartboard low uh, through the course of Tuesday. So that brings the risk of severe gale force winds, heavy rain, could be some snow mixed in as well uh, through the course of Tuesday. Check out weekend broadcast for more on that. I think the central pressure of that, so that's a 975 millibar line just there. That's a 970 millibar line there. So the central pressure of that low over Northern Ireland there is going down to around 965 millibars. That is a very, very deep area of low pressure indeed around the middle part of the week. Uh, we keep things looking pretty uh, cool and unsettled. Really below fills, of course, it can't stay at that sort of low pressure uh, for all that long. So below uh, fills, pressure starts to uh, come up as we go into the second half next week. But still unsettled and still quite cold with winds in from a northwesterly direction. That's uh, midnight on Friday, for example, again, bringing quite a cold northwesterly wind called this cold zonality. And uh, that goes on up to the tw uh, up to the 11th of December, uh, Saturday the 11th again, uh, with low pressure out to our west. It is, it is a bit of a warm sector associated with that, so that would bring mild weather in off the Atlantic, but would also be wet and windy. Now, for the GFS, we're going to go to weather out. There's been a problem uh, with the uh, GFS uh, today at West Central. I don't know what's gone wrong, but um, we have got the 6Z GFS at 6Z at the weather outlook. So, again, we're starting on Tuesday with this deep area of low pressure uh, moving in from off the Atlantic. That is looking um, really, really unsettled uh, as well. So, we push through um, when choosing to Wednesday, looking very, very wet and windy uh, across the country. A little bit more higher pressure over Scandinavia with the um, with the GFS compared to like the UK Met, you'll notice. So that's forcing this area below pressure southwards um, around the middle part of the week. Then another low coming in off the Atlantic through to Friday. Again, coming up against this relatively high pressure over Scandinavia. It's stalling and slipping through the country. That's bringing more wet weather, quite cold weather too, at the end of the week. Uh, into next weekend, higher pressure with the GFS 6 then builds up from the southwest. Lower pressure out towards green and ice, and we start to drag in uh, a rather milder southwesterly wind next weekend. So temperatures lifting up. For a while, anyway, next weekend. But by Monday the 13th, for so then we're actually going back into rather cooler northwest. Again, it does look very unsettled for this first week of, uh, for its first half, I should say, of December. Um, right, so we're up to and beyond day 10 uh, now, up to Wednesday the 15th of December, in this cool, quite cold, showering northwesterly wind uh, once again. What's going to happen after that? Well, more low pressure dies through there around the 16th of December. That's pulling the wind into the north this time. So, um, you know, quite cold, even into the second half of the month. Whoops, quite cold. Even into the second half of the month with the uh, GFS 6M. Uh, and then as we move up towards the very end of it, which gets us to the 20th of December today, then we start to pull in something a lot milder from the west and from the southwest, courtesy of this area of high pressure. But overall, quite, quite cool and quite unsettled, actually, with the GFS 6N operational, even into the second half of, uh, of December. If you enjoyed the video, please smash your like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for doing that. And drop a comment and so much about this and all of our videos. Thank you so much. Uh, right, so this is the GM. It's looking again for um, Tuesday deepening area of low pressure out to our west. That's going to bring wet and windy weather in of the Atlantic around the middle part of the week. Could be severe gales running up the Irish Sea into quite cold, showery, unsettled weather. Uh, at the end of next week as well, could be some snow mixed in over high ground in the north. And then moving up towards day 10, just turning milder then. So that's pull wind up from the southwest and heights beginning to rise from the south. So that's turning drier and milder up to the middle of December with the GEM. And then the ECM looks like that. So once again, very deep end of low pressure to our west on uh, Tuesday to Wednesday. That's been stormy weather around the middle part of the week. Again, a little bit higher with pressure over Scandinavia with uh, with the ECM, which sends this area of low pressure southwards. And uh, we have a go at pulling in an east wind of the Atlantic. At the moment, is too strong to allow any sort of easterly and Scandinavian high to get going. So we just keep the Atlantic onslaught going right the way up to uh, day temperature for 14th of December. Look like that. So we're trying to raise heights from the south, trying to turn drier and milder from the south, although um, we're not far from pulling in some quite cold air. Uh, from the north there. 
This is the precipitation forecast based on that uh, ECM run from tometro.com. So we've got rain, sleet, snow uh, around at the moment for today. Quite a day tomorrow and then more wet weather in off the Atlantic into Monday. That brings snow for northern areas, rain further south with that. Uh, medical returns stormy Tuesday into Wednesday. A bit deep area of low pressure uh, just here, racing off the Atlantic. That again bringing heavy rain to southern southwestern areas. That turns to snow in the north. With strong winds, it could be blizzards in the hills and mountains of uh, Scotland in particular. Uh, maybe into low levels, there could be some quite heavy snow during the middle part of the week uh, across Scotland. Rain further south. After that, we sort of go showery and the showers particularly focus on more southern areas. They might even be a little bit wintry down there as well. And uh, then we start to turn milder as we're out towards day 10. So the precipitation turns much more towards rain then, especially for more southern areas. By the time you get through to day 10, you look like that. Further bouts of rain threatening to start moving in from off the Atlantic. This is the uh, precipitation, no, the ECM on the table in the ECM ensemble today for day 10, which gets us to the 14th of uh, December. 23 members of the ECM ensemble have high pressure to our south south east, low pressure to our west north west, and in come those uh, mild, uh, well, not mild, but milder southwesterly winds. So we've got 17 with low pressure to our west, high pressure low to our east and northeast, Scandinavian high with that. And um, so it's a case of let battle commence, really, uh, as the high pressure of Scandinavia is trying to bring in easterlies and the low pressure in the Atlantic is trying to maintain westerlies. And then we've got 11, including the operational run, that look uh, quite cool and unsettled again. Bring those winds in from off the Atlantic. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 19th of December. 16 members of the ECM ensembles have the Scandinavian high taking over there it is and that turns the wind into the east uh 13 with low pressure away to our northwest high pressure to our south but also ridging northeast was as well so that's quite unsettled and bringing wind off the atlantic 12 with high pressure more or less over the top of the country but uh, is bringing in a little bit of an easterly type flow that's going to be mainly dry and could be quite cold and then 10 with uh, high pressure just to our west and uh, we're bringing around that a bit of a northwest sea. So, after two weeks, there is a possibility we might be under high pressure and we might even have high pressure over Scandinavia and bring in an easterly wind. Um, but of course, it's a very long way off, so we've got to wait and see. Uh, finally, CFSV2 is a 500 millibar height to break it down into wheat piers. The first wheat piers are going to take some before the 10th of December. The coming week has low pressure dominating across northern and west Europe, so it will be very unsettled and quite cool as well. Uh, week two is going to be. It, Go to be the 11th, 17th of December. And we get high pressure then to our south with low pressure to the north. So this is a milder week. Winds are in off the Atlantic on a west southwesterly direction. Um, week three is the 18th of December to Christmas Eve, 24th. And that has high pressure then taking over. So uh, that's quite a mild ridge. That's bringing in the wind from the south southwest. Of course, we are very close to being centred under the high. If we do get centred under the high, then despite the fact that it would be a relatively mild ridge in its origins, it could get cold from an inversion with frost and fog. And the same is true, really, for week four, which is Christmas Day to New Year's Eve. And uh, again, that has lots of high press sitting over the country and to our east. Again, technically, it is a mild ridge. That technically, it's bringing in the wind from a southerly, southwesterly type direction. But if the high is seen to bear uh, you know, over the country, particularly so I think for England and Wales, less so for Scotland and Northern Ireland, they're probably more of a southwesterly type influence, keeps it mild. But for England and Wales, that might bring some quite cold and frosty weather under that area of high pressure. Just depends, you know, on the exact nature of high, exactly where it's sitting and the, uh, and the, um, sort of uh, parameters of, of the upper air temperatures and all of that kind of thing. Right, but it's four weeks away, so it's not really worth worrying about. Right, so if you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. Make sure you're subbed to the channel. Thank you so much for doing that. Drop a comment and so you think about this and all of our videos. Tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. And uh, that's amazing. That's incredible. Thank you so much, everybody, uh, for doing that. I think we need to put on around 30 ish subscribers now to get to uh 12.8k so um you know we're pushing on we're pushing on i think we're going to be short of like getting to 13k and giving away the amazon voucher before christmas but we can do it in january uh anyway so uh, whenever we get to 13k we will give away an amazon voucher and uh 
And, uh, yeah, we'll celebrate reaching 13,000 subscribers. How does that sound? Right, thank you so much, everybody. That's it for today's... No, it's not it for today's upload. That's it for day 10, 14 day. But we have got one more upload to go, which will, which will be the 14th Christmas update. And that will be released around 7 o'clock uh, tonight. So, uh, if you're interested in that... Have a look at that one. Don't forget your channel member. Uh, check out channel members live stream, which will be coming up at 5 p.m. I'm just going to tell you what's coming up tomorrow. And so no long range update. We're finished with winter updates. We'll release the winter forecast on um, Thursday, of course. Thank you so much everybody for an amazing premiere as well on uh, Thursday. That was absolutely incredible, the premiere. We peaked at around 230 uh, concurrent uh, viewers. It, uh, unbelievable, awesome premiere. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank that incredible premiere. If you have not yet seen the Winter Forecast, it is a very interesting Winter Forecast, so make sure uh, you have a look at that. But, uh, but now that... But, um, uh, winter updates um, are done and the forecast is released. Got no long range to bring you for the time being. Spring updates usually commence in uh, January while I have a little bit of a rest. So tomorrow, kind of like got... Uh, got a free day, I suppose. But there will still be uploads coming tomorrow. I'm going to do the 15th Christmas update tomorrow. Uh, there will be a 10 to 14 day as well, just like what we've done uh, with this video. Uh, may try and get the Gav's weather vids December forecast release tomorrow as well. And there'll be a live stream at 6 o'clock. Um, of course, we'll, we'll discuss the winter forecast as we have not yet been able to get together, you know, and, and have a chat about winter forecast since the release on Thursday night. So we'll have a chat about winter forecast. We'll probably look at some 12s there. And then after this week, so this week is going to be focused like on discussing winter forecast. But once this week's out of the way, I think the Sunday live streams will probably start moving towards Ensembles Watch Live. Um, how does that sound? Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see Ensembles Watch Live kind of from, from next week. This week's Sony live stream will still be focused on, on, on winter um, discussion and, and discussing winter forecast. But once this week's out of the way, I think we'll probably move the um, Sony live streams on to Ensembles Watch Live. How does that sound, everybody? I hope it sounds all right. So let me know in the comments what you think about that from, like, next Sunday. Uh, that's the plan. Anyway, let me know what you think about all of that, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your uh, Saturday. Don't forget to check out the 14th Christmas update coming up at 7, uh, or if you're a channel member, channel members live stream at 5. But for this video, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.